Tech is Josh here, and I want to talk about this light behind me, along with the light stand and the batteries that you can get with this. This lighting kit has been a crucial part of my equipment collection because it has helped me with some lighting situations for some projects that I've done, including some weddings and also video announcements. If you've ever been to a wedding, you know that some of those conditions can be really, really bad low light conditions, especially the reception time where they have all the lights out, the DJs got all their fancy lights set up, but nothing for video or photos. So as I said, this has been a very important part of my kit in order to get some really good shots, and I'll show those to you in just a minute. It's a bi-color LED standard cold shoe professional camera video light for portrait, productive photography, studio, YouTube, outdoors, video kind of shooting settings. It's 280 LED beads with 3200 to 5600 K CRI 95 plus. Let me tell you, this LED panel packs a punch. And it gets very bright, but the good thing is, is that you can dim it on down to the lighting setting that you need. You can make it warm or cool color. The battery life has been really good on this. As a matter of fact, I've used it for two weddings, a video shoot for video announcements, and a couple other little small projects, and it's still got some juice. I'm not quite sure how much battery life I have left, but I could still get some projects done. You can get a battery charger that has two charging connections to get both batteries charged up. You can also connect this to a wire for a plug kind of connection as well. Another great thing about this battery charger is that you could charge it via USB. So you could charge it on the go, you got a battery pack, anything like that that connects to USB. That's a really good perk so that we can do stuff on the go. I didn't get the wired connection because I really just need it for battery operation anyways because I don't want to have a cord running off of the light stand, someone trip on it, all that kind of mess that could happen with that. And with that said, it's very portable, which is awesome. The light stand gets up to nine feet. That's super tall. That's very tall. The only thing that I need to get for this is a ball head so that I can tilt the LED panel down or up or any direction that I need it to go to. Once I get that done, it'll be a perfect little setup at least for one aspect of my lighting set. This part of the video, I wanna show you the differences that you can see with this lighting setup. I also wanna show you what I normally use for my YouTube videos, my hands-on type videos that I put out. It's a ring light and then a desk lamp. That's been about it. And of course, the overhead lights that I have, which are daylight light bulbs. The current lighting conditions that you see here is daytime, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, and I got the ring light on along with that desk lamp, and this is the kind of lighting that you're getting right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in front of me and off to the side and kind of give you the different settings of what it will look like if you had this yourself. It's pretty bright, and this is the cool color, the white color. Let's add in the yellow, the warmth. You can see how it really gets stinking bright. For my YouTube videos, I like the whitest colors possible. That's just my preference of how I like to light up my area. It really helps you see the products and things like that. But when you're in a setting like a, a wedding reception or a video shoot, you're shooting a promo video, you might want to warm it up a bit. And that's where this really comes in handy. Now, typically I've kind of used a mix of both. And what's really nice too is that you can dim this down further. So you can tone down the brightness. You have to turn both knobs down if you're using both colors. But you might not need it as bright. And this is what you can do with it. Pretty cool. All right, that's at full brightness with both colors on now. And as you can kind of see this, I'm looking at my screen right now, and it gives you this kind of cinematic kind of style because you get that three point lighting going on. You kind of want a shadow somewhere, but you want one side all kind of lit up. And that's with the light off, and you can see the difference. Like this isn't the best well lit conditions that you might want for a video project. And adding this light in here, I'm just gonna do the, the warm color you can see how it makes a huge difference in the quality of your light for your video. It gets so bright. Turn the, the white balance on now. Yeah, it makes a huge difference, like night and day, <laughs> pun intended. Let's try it from this side. Ah, it's getting so bright. I got all these dots on my face right now. Ew. Now when you're outside in the daylight, 
this is where it makes a big difference. But I mean, it really just depends on what kind of video project you're doing. You're not going to want a full blast like this indoors per se. If you're in a big room, you might want to, but smaller setups, not so much. Whew. Or I could set this on the other side of the room, turn it all the way up and get some different results. You can see there are so many different kind of combinations that you can do with this LED panel. And oh my gosh, I got some, ooh, some brightness or those dots that you get after like looking at the sun. Oh man, yeah, anyways. So be mindful of that if you're shooting a subject, you're not gonna wanna blast them like so close. I just kinda wanted to give you an example of what the lighting can do. I've got no complaints about this light setup. It's treated me very well and I'm very happy with this setup. Best of all, it doesn't cost much compared to other lighting setups that you could get. You could spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on lights for video projects. And this ain't gonna cost that much. 60 bucks for the light, $30 for the light stand, and the batteries and the charger don't cost much either. I'll have all the links that you need down below in the video description. You definitely wanna get this for your next video project. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. Share this video with your favorite social networks and until then, stay techie.